I think every club pretty much has has made a huge deal out of the, these players. And even just speaking now, speaking to Janine Becky as an example, who got celebrated a Man City men's match. You look at Shalina at Tottenham with the signed men and women's um, memorabilia that she was given. Like they, they've been well celebrated and well deserved. And and I, and I would say, and I can speak from a European perspective, these players have probably been undervalued for a long time. Um, and I think it's probably give them that confidence and recognition that they deserve. The key is that we, we don't get our head of ourselves and our feet remain on the ground to make sure that these players have that over and over again. And so we can't stand, stand still. We've got to keep pushing forward. But it's really pleasing. Even you look at the Ballon d'Or nominees, I think that's like it's fantastic to see our Canadians recognised globally. And I think when you go and get success, it does that for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Roger, followed by Michel Lamarche, and then Harm, please. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Bev. Um, Roger Gretels, Deportes Soy Canada Media Outlet. I'm here in Alberta. Congratulations for the gold medal. Um, I remember back in March 2019, if I'm not mistaken, there was a game between Australia and Canada at BC Place that was obviously cancelled because of the pandemic that we are all suffering. And I just wonder if the federations have arranged anything at this time to get that uh, game back in Canada. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, obviously the Australia link was um, was in place, and yeah, there's been ongoing dialogue about that reciprocal agreement to to you know get that game, and it's just happened around you know availability, and and they having home games, we're having home games, and trying to get get the right windows with the right teams. But I think um, for sure that that not necessarily that particular game, but there will be targets to play some of those sorts of nations that, that we have as part of our next three year planning going into the into the World Cup. So um we hope to see Canada at home more often. I know that's something Canada Soccer want to see now that we can. Um, and, and this celebration too is kicking off where it is, but you, you'll expect to see this team, you know, not just as part of this celebration tour, but moving forward at home in in front of fans. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Michel Lamarche, s'il vous plaît. Hi, Bev. Michel? Yeah, do you, do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Hi, Bev. Uh, Michel Lamarche from Canadian Press, uh, French Service. I'm just curious, we're like two months past the, the gold medal game. How long have you heard about it since that game? I mean, how long did it? To go on and you heard about it from fans and everything can you describe the feelings yeah i think i just hear i hear of all the stories of people who got their kids up you know watched it at 5 a.m i think it was out here in bc and people always remember these moments whether it's women's soccer team hockey team you know that there'll, there'll be moments in people's lives where you remember where you were in that moment and i would like to think that what you all witnessed in Tokyo in that, that Sweden penalty shootout as dramatic and terrifying as it was. I think everybody always remembers where they were in a moment like that. And we want to create that more often where we're the team that is remembered. And when we are, to be fair, we've got three, three medals, which is, is unbelievable. But I think this team to keep doing that and keep sustaining this is our biggest challenge because I think... Yeah, what it does for young players to dream and, and want to be, you know, one of one of the stars that they see in front of them. You, you just asked about Julia Grosso before. I know she was inspired from 2012 from that moment in the bronze medal. So if we can keep doing that and creating players and inspiring players to go and fulfil their dreams, and it's not just about soccer. It's actually all the life lessons that you learn along those moments, all the memories you create all the values that sport teaches us, I think that's what those moments does for young Canadians. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, thank you very much. And Har, please. Hi, Beth, thank you very much for doing this. I have two quick questions for you. Are there any injury concerns ahead of the two matches? I know uh, Victoria did not play yesterday. Yeah, well, obviously, Victoria is one of the training players and, and has an injury that we're trying to work through from a return to play perspective. So that would be the only flag right now. Um, 
but yeah, I, I, as I'd, as I'd expect, is is the roster that you've seen will will be here for the games. And do you expect to uh, announce any upcoming home games in the November window, or is there anything close to being crossed the line in regards to that? Yeah, again, we're just working through, you know, the the government protocols, the you know everything that goes with it. it does slow the process down, but we're definitely working on that November window and, and hope to be able to announce something in the in the near future. Thank you very much.